The purpose of this video is to explore how in Odoo's version 12 you're able to uh, create domain filters to filter out certain bits of information to only display something that you want or that you specify. The first example of this is let's go to the customer screen and let's create some customers, right? Let's say we have company X, we'll mark it as a company, and we'll say that company X has an employee named Nicholas Kaczynski working there. And we'll set the relationship up as such. Um, so what I want to do now is on a sale order, I, I, you can see here out of the box, I can define the company or the customer, and I have two options here. If I want to specify a cust the company and then also the specific customer underneath it, we can uh, use a domain filter. So I'll have customer and then I'll have another field I'll create and we'll call it um, point of contact. And I only want, when I select a point of contact, I only want to see contacts that work for company uh, X or contacts that work for the company specified here in the customer field. So in order to do that, let's go to our, let's go into debug. Let's go into the models. Let's go to the sale order. Open the sale order up. Edit, create, um, point of contact, many to one related to the res.partner. Save this. Now what we're gonna do is go into the order and we're gonna edit the view. And we're going to add here, uh, let's go and add it here. We'll add our um, X POC ID. We add the field into the view and then we ascribe a domain where I will uh, say, <clears throat> the um, the parent ID, which is the field on the res.partner that defines the parent company is, and we'll say equal to the partner ID on the sale order, which is the, first off, we gotta make sure we have these, commas correctly placed and from there we'll go like this and close it out. So now the parent ID or the parent uh, field on the point of contact is equal to the partner ID on the set order model which is the field equal to customer. And I can save that and now we will see when I refresh you'll see the Right now I have a long list, but when I assign this value, I will only see company X or Nicholas Kaczynski who works for the company in the parent field. And that is true for anything we can say. I'll create another called um, test test here, and we can add a um, Bob Jones. And now you'll see only Bob Jones comes up. Whereas if I leave this blank, all these come up. And how it would work without the domain filter is um, if I remove domain filter, and I'll just have my field. And now you'll see here when I refresh, the no matter what I ascribe to this field, I'll see all my contacts here. So that is how domain filters can be used. Now. Let's go back and actually take a second just to make sure we understand the logic of the filter. And I'll just insert it here. So domain equals, I'm going to measure the value of a field associated to this particular field. So what it's doing is it's going into the point of contact. It's looking at the parent ID and it's going to say this parent ID, the value held in that field, must equal the partner ID on the set order record, which is the customer field. So if you extrapolate this information, this knowledge, you can apply it to virtually anything in the system. I can say the domain or filter out all you know, orders which the 
salesperson is assigned to as the sales rep or little things like that. So this is a pretty powerful tool, but um, it should help you understand how this sort of logic can be applied, um, so on and so forth. If you have any additional questions or if anything in this video is unclear to you and you want more information or you want to understand how you could apply this sort of logic to a different scenario, feel free to reach out to me uh, in the email address at the bottom of the video and or in the description of the video and I'll be happy to help. Thanks so much and have a great day.